Hi Kelly. I thought the easiest thing to do here would be to just take a look at it in Studio and show you how to set these options. So I'm going to use Studio 2017 because this is the version you are using. But everything I'm about to show you is actually the same in Studio 2019. The file type options have not changed. So to begin with, let's just take a look at the file we're talking about. So we've got this XLSX file that we've created, which is ordered one, two, three, four, five, six. And the default extraction, and what you're seeing at the moment, is it's extracting one, four, two, five, three, six, instead of one, two, three, four, five, six. So you want to know how to change this and extract them the other way around. So I'm going to go into Studio, into my File, Options, File Types. And when we look at this, and I'm using the defaults, I'll just make sure I reset everything to defaults. We've actually got one, two, three, four, five Microsoft Excel file types of one form or another. The bilingual Excel I'm going to ignore because that does something different. But the first four, you have two XLSX file types and two XLS file types. Now the difference between them, the new one, which is the default and is the one that will be used all the time first, has a mechanism here for in the in the common options for reading the comment order by column as opposed to by row which should change the order we're looking at that's the first one if i come down here to microsoft excel 2007 2013 this has a different mechanism for doing this in the in the, in the common it doesn't have those same options but in the sheets and shapes you have a lot of different options for changing the order so you can go left to right or right to to left by row or left to right by column or right to left by column so it was quite comprehensive in terms of what it ordered so the new microsoft excel file type doesn't offer those same uh, those same options it only offers you the option to read the content ordered by column as opposed to ordering it by row which is what's happening by default and the same thing happens with Microsoft Excel 97 to 2003 in here. You have a read content order by column. And in the newer one, so this is the other way around actually, in the new one here we have um, the ability to do a lot more fancy stuff with it. So it's interesting. So with the XLSX file type, the new one has less functionality in the XLSX in the XLS file type, it has more functionality. So we kind of reversed the process here, but that's the way it is. I did ask development about this and they have no intention of adding these sheets and shapes capability into the new Microsoft Excel capability because nobody complained when they took it out. It's a lot of work to put it back in again because it adds quite a bit of complexity. So if nobody wants it, no, then the development team won't put it in. So I would recommend anybody watching this, if they want it back in, Go and raise an idea on the idea site. I had a look and couldn't find one um, and get people to vote for it. Otherwise, it will, not be get, it will not be put back into the new version of the Microsoft Excel file type. Now, let's take a look and see how this actually works. So by default, Studio will use the first file type in the list. So it's gonna use the Microsoft Excel 2007 to 2016 first. And if I just preview this, so I'll pick it up here and click on preview. When it opens up, you can see I get one, four, two, five, three, six, which is exactly what you're seeing at the moment. If on the other hand, I click on the column button and say, read content order by column and browse, or sorry, in preview. Now I get one, two, three, four, five, six. And that's actually what you're looking for. Alternatively, I can uncheck this one which means it won't be used and I'll be using the next one or alternatively I can just move the other one up above that um, but I prefer to just uncheck it and keep things in the same order because then I don't forget where I am and I come down to here and I'm going to use the defaults in here so I'm going to preview now and I'm back to the 142536 if I change this 
option here, or well, not that, oh yes, that one, sorry, and go top left to bottom right by column and preview it. Now I'm going to get one, two, three, four, five, six, which is what you're looking for. You can see this is the this is the sort of option we don't get. Four, five, six, one, two, three. We don't get that option in um, in the new version. I'm trying to think where that might be useful. Perhaps it's useful for people working with um, bi-directional languages. Maybe they prefer to do it the other way. I'm not sure. Um, but either way, there has been no complaints when we took it out. So that's it. That's basically how you use it. Now, what I would add to this, I'm just going to reset everything to defaults. Come back to here, reset to defaults again. So make sure everything's ticked and back to normal and click on OK. If you want to do this when you're creating a project, you either make the changes in your file options before you start the project, or if you don't want to do that, if I'll just give you an example just using the translate single document, I'll pick this file up. You can change it as you as you, as you go on the fly. So I can click on advanced down here if I'm just using the single doc and document approach. Go to my file types, Microsoft Excel, common, read content order by column, say OK, OK. And then when the file opens for translation, I get one, two, three, four, five, six, which is exactly what you were looking for. And you can do the same if you create a project the normal way. You will be able to have, you would, you have always got the options. In fact, let's just do it. So let's go to um, new project. So create a project based on, I don't want to use a template because that will change things. Let's just use the default. Say next. I'll put the project over here in your folder. Put it in there. Um, next. Let's just remove them all apart from. Oops, I'm just adding things here rather than removing them. Let's just go for one language. In here, I can now go to my file types. And here, just make sure I'm checking the read content order by column. In this case, it's actually been ticked, and that's because I changed it when I did the translate um, single file, so it did it for me. It changed the default. If it didn't, you would just tick it at this point, and then you can add your files. Um, I'm going to take the, oops, that's not it. Add your files, and I can just finish at that point. And there's a similar process, except it's faster in um, Trotter Studio 2019. Um, but there's a similar process to do it there. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So you can do it both ways. You can do it before you start the project. You can do it while you're creating the project. You can change it to whichever order you actually prefer to work in. So I hope that helps. I hope that gives you all the answers you were looking for. You can't change the order of these things after the project has been created. And that's because Studio works on the file level at the bilingual file level and once that file is created you're now working on the SGLX lift file it's not a database where you can reorder things um, I wish it was but it's not it's so you have to make the changes before the file is converted into an into an um, SGLX lift and that's the way it works hope that's helpful